Okay, here we are back in Sentinels of the Multiverse. So the variants are loose, Prime Warrants aren't adept is up for grabs, and there'll be a new one available as of the day of this recording being visible to you guys, which will probably be Captain Cosmic. That's what I'm predicting, just because I think there might go in the order the normal Prime Warrants were discovered, but it's literally a guess. But anyway, the real reason why you're here, you're here for the Midnight Hour. He lives in his own dark realm. His zombies are seeking to overwhelm. Well, he's out all night to collect despair. Just so long. Just so long. And don't mess up his hair. I walk the realm with you, Gloom. A thousand miles with you. I fend you tears of pain, Gloom. A million times for you. I'd sell my soul for you, Gloom. For mortals to burn for you. I'd give you all and have none, Gloom. Just to have you here on Earth. So I believe this is supposed to be I'll Be There For You with new lyrics, apparently. So this is a randomized start, and your difficulty here is no damage in her base power, no damage in base power, no overt damage in base power, and no damage base power. So when this first starts, if you can't clear out the zombies, those will be the biggest threat to you. If you can, then the environment's going to be the biggest threat for you until his relics start popping. And there are a few different ways this can go wrong, but I imagine it's not going to be too bad. And the other thing is, I've been talking to Crimson Thunder, and when we have randomized starts like this, I think the last one was probably like a month ago, I may do a... we have to see how our schedules line up exactly. We may do an online multiplayer one-shot, so you can see a different randomized start. Maybe that may be a little bit more helpful for you, we'll see. It's just... We have to see how the schedules align. I mean, if there's really interest, we could go back and hit up a few others, but there's... I don't know how informative those would be. So anyway, the one-shot has been live for two hours. Let's begin and see how bad this can go. All this delicious despair, I can almost taste it. Let me in, mortals. I have foreseen the consequences of this conflict. So as for Gloomy, he's going to summon a number of zombies equal to the guys on the field, in this case four. And then if there are three, villix, three villain relics in play, he flips. If there's three in the trash, we win. And whenever a cultist goes down, he pulls a zombie. So he'll become the demon god incarnate when his three relics are on the field. He heals, still summons zombies, but then this is when he will actually start to hit you based off the number of voodoo pins in play. As for Visionary, we don't have real good start for her. We have Foresight that we can speed through her deck, I guess. Mind Spike if we really have to, but prefer not to. As for the Adept, we do have the Counterpoint Bulwark, so I can try to set up a little bit of a defense for Tachyon. Eep, this is bad. <laughs> throwing Knives? Okay, I can get the Throwing Knives out. So yeah, right here I have the whole problem of what I mentioned. I don't have a reliable way to kill zombies. And that sucks. So I'll come four of them, they're gonna start laying into us. I'm gonna have them hit everyone for two. The question is, what is he gonna play next? A cultist? The grimoire. We discard one card. He deals each hero target X infernal damage or X is minus. Okay, that's not too bad. And then each of the Birds of Prey here has to take a hit. And then we're going to give this to the unofficial Bird of Prey. So this causes Gloomweaver to attack. Unfortunately you cannot rest the mind him, but I could jack a zombie. And doing so is actually my best bet, I'm afraid. So we're going to hijack the first zombie in sequence. As for drawing two... I'm going to give this to Tachyon. I got Fleet of Foot and Lightning Reflexes. Bleh. Those suck. Well, Fleet of Foot's helpful, but it's not going to help me at the moment, so I'm trying to get at <laughs> So for this one... You may as well play a song on the Adept, and the thing is, this requires an instrument. So the only thing I can do is the Bulwark, which is not too bad, because if I can do the Accompany, a player will draw a card. But Adept, sing for us. Whoa. 
that's for you, Rydens. So right here we can give this to Tachyon, and basically this will absorb some of the damage she'll take from pushing the limits. So just keep in mind the um, Obsidian Fields can make pushing the limits extremely deadly here. So we draw Precognition, Rhapsody of Vigor, Blinding Speed, <laughs> Combat Stands, wow. So, yeah. I don't have anything else. So right here I want to give this to Wraith to try to speed up her setup, and we got garbage. So those go in the trash now. So I drew Sucker Punch, that can kill a zombie for me. So right here we're going to do this to see why I pull. Suture is not too helpful. Okay, so I'm going to do smoke bomb shenanigans here. Yeah, I can nullify the zombie. Actually, no, I won't be able to because she's only going to take one. So she'll get hit. Wraith will get hit. Oh well. Still, smoke bombs could help. Then again, I could just get the targeting computer out. So we'll put that in play. We're going to send out the stun bolt. And then you want to hit Gloomweaver with this because he's the one dealing the damage from the tome. We drew another combat stance. That's not too helpful. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so I can kill that with Tachyon. That's not a big deal. So right here, we're going to go down the line. I do not need two precognitions. I do not need the sadistic dissonant. I can get rid of a combat stance. We're going to have Tachyon skip. So one damage, which is reduced by stun bolts, down to zero. So out comes the Crimson Pin, highest HP. What sucks about this is it's irreducible, but... Tachyon, or not Tachyon, Wraith can heal. So I'm giving that to her. So we're going to steer this into Wraith. And then we're going to redirect this into this zombie. That dies. Then the rest of the mine goes off, killing that zombie. And I don't take damage because the rest of the mine is destroyed when that target is destroyed. So anyway, it's time to start speeding through the deck. Let's Foresight. So this is the first card I want so that I can hit them on the start of every turn. I'm going to take the decoy next. I may throw the decoy away, just a heads up. So I can do the Inspiring Supertonic. That's not going to help because Wraith goes after him. I could give it to Tachyon to try to set up Wraith, but I could just easily burn through her deck. Actually, you know what? I can play this, and then I can bring out the harp next turn. Whoa. So we're going to give this to Tachyon, have her experiment on Wraith. Crap. So there's a throw jab, that's very helpful. I drew the harp anyway, so it doesn't matter what I do there. So... Yeah, I'm going to keep this up because I want the card plays. She also mentioned Adip can heal the team. It's just I don't see myself using his melody here. So anyway, we are going to Sucker Punch, one of the zombies. We're going to Blinding Speed, the T-Rex. And now we are going to use this on Wraith. Okay, there we go. Mega Computer is going to help with the environment damage. Getting the Mega Computers out is going to be very helpful if I can pull it off. Sad part is that's an if. So anyway, right here I'm going to put out the combat stance because I can at least hit Gloomweaver back when this goes when the pin goes off. So we want to hit him with a stun bolt. As for the environment, this is Raptors, I hope. Nope, Obsidian Field. Damn it, that means everyone has to sacrifice a card because now that stun bolt is offset. So choose for me. We're going to get rid of the decoy as planned. I'm going to get rid of the instrumental conjuration. 
for this one, we are going to get rid of the research grant, and we are going to part with the infrared eyepiece. Aw, oh, man. So anyway, next card I want is Twist the Ether. I'll take a Cerebral Hemorrhage, that way I can clear out any zombies. Top of the deck will be Prophetic Vision, because I can manipulate the environment to a degree with this. We're going to keep that going. And I should mention any zombies he plays from now on will be destroyed by the demobilization. So I don't need the health, let's play the Lyra. Gonna give this to Tachyon so she can speed up the setup. Gonna keep giving this to Wraith. There goes one of the Mega Peters I wanted. One player may draw a card, and this time I'm gonna give this to Tachyon. I'm a little tempted to destroy that. So no, I don't want to damage myself any further. So I only get one card play, but we're going to increase that to two. So we're going to destroy Strength of the Grave right here. Hmm. May want to, yeah, I'm going to kill the zombie. Okay, here we go. So there's the belt and the knives. So the goggles are going to help. So we'll play the other Sunbolt. Ping him for less damage, and then we're going to use the knives. everything. Probably gonna suit your next turn. Damn it. This is painful. So this is five damage across the board. Direct this, I guess. Yeah. And then I should have smoke bombs in play, so I can get rid of the ones in my hand. I need to kill that book soon. Should mention the Cursed Acolyte is one of those crisis scenarios right now. It's gonna hit everything for six. Do damage to the villain targets. to make sure he doesn't come out. So odds are he's still going to summon a bunch of crap. This is one of the cards I need. I was hoping to get Twist the Ether, but Mass Levitation will help protect me from the environment to a certain degree. So I... Let's put out the harp just in case. So we're giving this to Wraith so she can use her throwing knives. It's possible all the relics could come out here. Instrumental 
Conjuration, which I'll probably throw away. So one, two, three. Ah, there's something to throw away. So the Accelerated Assault. We'll use this. Use this to kill the Profane Zealot. That causes everything to take full damage. Another zombie, but that's going to die to the Assault. So order no longer matters here. And we're going to start experimenting on Tachyon herself. So right here, I don't have to worry about any damage this turn from them. And the pin's destroyed, by the way. Can't do anything with that. I'd rather hold on to this for later. So quick insight. Accelerate assault. So the Razor Ordinance is very tempting. We're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to use the Throwing Knives to hit both of these. I don't have to worry about the Stun Bolt this turn because he can't hurt anything courtesy of Hypersonic. I don't have Synaptic Interruption out to redirect off Tachyon. And then we can use this to take another piece out of him. I'm not worried about the book in the slightest right now. I can kill that next turn. So, Impromptu Invention is going to be the next mega computer. If I have any left in my deck, I have to check. Crap. So I want to read the fine print on that card. Deal each target 7 fire damage. And fortunately, Mass Levitation causes everything to be deal less damage. So we're going to skip this, because he can't hurt anything. Out comes the Mass Following. We're just going to fish out... A voodoo pin and some zombie servants, it looked like. She doesn't have anything sensitive in her hand, so we'll give this to Visionary. And now I could kind of cheese the pin by skipping my turn. What all is left in here? I'm worried about the other primordial plant life. This... Because so I can have Tachyon skip. So we're just going to levitate for the rest of the game. Prophetic Vision's gone, oh well. Adam's a little too important to skip his turn. We're going to put out the Rhapsody, and I can get out the Horn if I need to. Actually, I think I'd be better off getting out the um, Drum, because I can use the card draw still. So someone gets to use a power. We are going to give this to Wraith. And I can use this to kill the Zealot outright. It will summon a zombie, but I can deal with that in a second. As for card draws, we'll give this to Visionary in search of Twist the Ether. No. No. I'll part with it. And yes, we'll skip our turn to destroy the volcano and corruption. So there's no obsidian field in the trash to summon. And I do have one mega computer left. So we're going to put that in play. Now there's five points of damage reduction on all environment stuff. So we're going to suture here in case we have that acolyte pops up. So right here we want to use the throwing knives. If we kill the book, Gloomy will not be doing much. Killing the zombie, because that could be a little dangerous. The indigo pin is kind of harmless at the moment. By the way, keep in mind if this were Advanced Gloomweaver, Wraith would not be able to hurt him without Twist the Aether, because everything she does is either melee or projectile. Another Obsidian Field, so the stakes are rising. He's going to play Sablepin, moves next to the Wraith. I think I can kill that with splash damage. Yeah. 
So this is going to deal three across the board. We're going to do a cerebral hemorrhage. This is choose three targets, and we could hit them for four. Then we're going to continue levitating, because I can't kill him this round. Next round, he's dead, though. So mental divergence isn't too bad. I could kill some of his on... Well, he only has one ongoing, so... Anyway, we have the drum. I'm going to play this for the card draw. It really doesn't matter what I take. I'm going to grab the pipes, because why not? Got the Scherzo, which would actually be decent here, because I could hit him for six. But anyway, let's play our... Supertonic. To Wraith. I just want the consistent damage. Or his ordinance will deal more. And then we can give the card draw over to Tachyon. Hypersonic. There's Silver Shadow. So right here I get two card plays. This will deal nine. Let's play this to clear the field first. Plus we don't have to worry about anything he plays. I'm going to hit him with the Lightspeed Barrage, because I can hit him for half his remaining health. Right here, we're going to experiment on ourselves. We might be able to finish him. Nope. I needed a different one-shot with that Accelerated Assault, and he'd be dead. So unfortunately, Wraith does not have any damaging one-shots other than this, and I do have 9 equipment cards in play, so... Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Gloomy, catch! So, not that difficult, but the environment can really, really mess with you. So, to be completely honest, I was expecting the core game challenge. It's been a little while since that came up. And like I said, Crimson and I may hit this up. We'll see. Anyway, the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.